We're continuing our tour viewers of uh, wooden boat shops in Muskoka and we're going to take a look at Tim, Tim's shop, see what he's working on. Hello viewers, we're continuing our tour of uh, boat shops in the Muskoka. We're in Bracebridge now at uh, Tim Butson's shop and the boat we're looking at here and I'm going to talk over the machinery noise is a 32 foot manette a possibly manette shield and Tim and his staff are putting a brand new bottom on this boat uh, believe it or not uh, in a previous restorative attempt uh, the bottom was epoxied and Tim was telling me it was done with iron screws and uh, which started to rust and bleed color and I guess uh, allowed for some water penetration Tim has put a new stem on this boat and I have a, a close-up here of the old stem uh, laminated obviously and you can see how it was coming apart and uh, just the iron screw work I guess just was not uh, kosher for this particular boat so this is going to be a major undertaking Tim and his staff are going to put a, a cedar bottom on the boat and uh, also there's some rib damage and uh, damage around the engine compartment apparently that will all be repaired and replaced Yosemite Sam here was a boat built by Tim uh, many years ago it's a Glen L design and the hull is still sound apparently but uh, the boat's been quite weathered and I guess as time allows Tim will clean it up we sand and re-varnish and make a ship shape again what we have here is a ski boat now in this uh, this is an example of where Tim would use an epoxy. It's a epoxy ply hull, and uh, above the waterline, apparently, the varnish will be used rather than epoxy. That's quite a powerful engine in this boat. It's probably going to fly. The last boat under restoration here is an upturned Billy Johnson, obviously getting a new bottom as well. Looks like cedar planking on this one. So lots of work going on at Butson's here, viewers. Tim, how is this boat powered? With a small inboard? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, what if that is a flat like six or something? Okay. Sure. And this is an 18 footer, I guess, is it? Yeah. And what vintage would this one be? Uh, 38. I think. Ni 1938. It's kind of unique because of the tumble home and the shape here. Right. Now, this would be considered a planing hull, I guess, wouldn't it? With the yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, right. Beautiful curve on the transom. There you have it, viewers. Tim Butson's workshop in Bracebridge, Ontario. Over and out. We're looking here, viewers, at a, a sketch by Tom Falls, who is a designer working for Gravette. This is a, a Gravette executive model, made, uh, we believe, in the early 70s. And I'm going to take you across to the uh, neighboring uh, room to take a look at the real McCoy. And here's the real uh, Gravette executive from the early 70s viewers. Very streamlined looking boat. Almost like a dagger bow. Beautiful curvature on the front end here. Tim tells me that uh, the boat came in for a new varnish, but it needs a new hull. It needs a new bottom. So I guess we're in for some fairly major expense here. Interesting uh, vent system here. Quite elaborate. Lots of work ahead on this one.
and just its neighbor here is a Butts and Gentlemen's Racer. We have focused on this book before, I believe, but uh, beautiful long deck Gentlemen's Racer, custom built by Butsons. I'm sure this boat flies. Once again, Tim Butson's shop in Bracebridge, Ontario.